This is going to get ugly, Shepard. Nothing good ever came out of Reaper Tech. We got Reaper too. Must be left over for the attack. The Reaper nanites attach themselves to the adrenaline released and quickly move through the body to speed conversion to the final husk state. What do we know, Shepard? Edie? The Sanctuary facility was devoted to aiding refugees from Reaper-controlled systems. The facility went offline recently, and no communications have come or gone since. It is unclear why Kai Lang or Cerberus would be interested in Sanctuary. If there's a clue to Cerberus here, we find it. Sir, I'm picking up a signal from the facility. It's weak. I I'll try to boost it. Oriana? That's Miranda's sister. If she's here, Miranda can't be far away. That's our link to Cerberus. Approaching the LZ. Seeing some damage, Commander, but no activity. Cerberus does not get the jump on us this time. Stay sharp, people. Big mass ship. Lots of combat. Yeah. But who was fighting? Everyone hear that? Yes, radio's offline. Something's jamming our signals. Explains no comms leaving the facility. They were evacuating. And it looks like the Reapers were pursuing them. About time they started killing each other. They sorted out refugees. That's a lot of people. Come on, let's keep looking. Standard accommodations, but 
That's the deal. Do your time at the front desk. Get the perks. One more week. people they brought. Got a fragment of something here. We land in a few minutes. You should see this place, Dad. It's amazing. Look, I'll record a bunch of stuff and send it to you. They warned us about no comms until we're through processing. What I tell you, top-notch security. Can't wait till you get here. Something ahead, Shepard. Casualties. Both sides. Keep looking. Cerberus, Reapers, and Miranda's crazy father. Any ideas how this all fits? A security panel. Shutting it down. What's happening? They needed to hide something. We have a back door into the facility. Let's move. is going to get ugly, Shepard. Nothing good ever came out of Reaper Tech. This has to be a command center. No power, though. Look around for a switch. Power switch. There. What's happening? 
Those are the refugees. They're just killing them. Worse. They're being turned into husks. just to make husks. What does the elusive man gain? The Reapers attacked because this place was a threat. We need to find out why. down the power to the processing plant to lock them down. You should keep them out of the entrance as well. Kai Lang. She won't know he's here. Miranda Lawson has arrived sooner than expected. Do you want me to deal with her? Only if she gets in your way. Stay focused on the research data. Find it and get out. Yes, sir. Damn it. Let's move! more where they came from. I spent the last week making small adjustments to increase processing efficiency. There is no shortage of subjects. Indeed, I'm told there's a long line outside the main gate. The deception is an unfortunate necessity. Time is very short. We've confirmed the results of Cerberus experiments involving the husk creatures. A crude but necessary first step in decoding how the Reapers communicate. The key is how the Reaper signal interacts with the nanites implanted within the subject's body. It's early yet, but we are making progress. We got Reaper troops! Must be left over from the attack!
Dr. Nuri's legacy work with Subject Paul Grayson provided a key element to our work here. Using the addictive drug Red Sand to break down the will was inspired, but proved unreliable for general application. We've proven that adrenaline and its cross-species equivalents is most effective and efficient. It's hard to imagine what this place was like at full operation. The pursuit of efficiency has revealed an important fact. The Reaper's use of dragon's teeth to create husks is ingenious. The Reaper nanites attach themselves to the adrenaline released and quickly move through the body to speed conversion to the final husk state. Figure out how Reaper indoctrination... Terminal's damaged. Hang on. Reapers wanted this place shut down. Maybe we'll find out why. It doesn't make sense. But Cerberus and the Reapers were getting along. What changed? There it is. Heading to the tower to disable the communication scrambler. I have to get word out. Some refugees are turned into husks. Some are indoctrinated and shipped to the elusive man. Whoever's left is used in experiments. The data indicates that my father is trying to figure out how Reaper indoctrination works. Tricking refugees with food and shelter only to turn them into test subjects. And for what? <sighs> Draw them in and throw them in a meat grinder. Note that she mentioned shipping indoctrinated refugees to the elusive man. We can use that to find him. Good catch. Come on. Miranda said she was headed to the tower. Control is possible, yes. The Reaper subjects we converted are responding, but it's difficult to maintain. I thought that might be the case. Not to worry, Henry. With Sanctuary's help, we'll get it sorted. To exert control over Reaper forces. Amazing. I'll play the rest of it. We've done it. We've found a way to co-opt their control signal. As long as the Reaper troops remain in close proximity to our signal, 
we can maintain control indefinitely. Excellent news. And how could we extrapolate this technique to apply to the Reapers themselves? That's a much bigger challenge. Now we know why the Reapers attacked Sanctuary. They found out what Cerberus was up to. Bad news for the elusive man. But it's good news for us. We finally have our link to Cerberus. Lowering the access ladder. Come on, let's move. Wait, Shepard, there's more here. Damn it. I hope she's ready. Stop in command sequence. 
Releasing husks. What's happening? Oh my god! We can use this as an exit. We can use this as an exit. This will get us closer to the tower. This way. We got company. Stay out of their reach. Get over there. Let's move! Shepard. A Commander Shepard. Excellent timing. Put the gun down. No. Ariana tried to shoot me. Miranda's poisonous influence, no doubt. I'm sorry she missed. Where's Kai Lang? I don't know. Gone. He took my research and left us here to die. Miranda, can you hear me? That's close enough. Both of you. Kai Leng didn't finish the job, but I will. This ends here. On the contrary. Now that the Reapers are taken care of, we have a way out. Let her go. Shepard, don't let him take her. Shepard, please. I have no problem with you. I just want Oriana and the research data. You want a lot. You get your life in return. How much is that worth? All right. Take her. <laughs> but I want out alive. Deal? Ah! No deal. Miranda? Miranda, I'm sorry. Listen to me. Listen. I wanted you to have a 
normal life. Marriage. Children. Things I could never have. No. I just wanted my sister. I love you, Ori. I love you too. Shepard. I'm here. Before Kai Leng left, I planted a trace on him. A trace? You thought of everything. Not everything. Nobody's perfect. But at least Ori is safe. I've never met anyone like you, Miranda. No. You haven't. I'll keep your sister safe. Good. I just wish I could have. Let's make sure everybody knows about this place. Communication scrambler disabled. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility Come run on, by Mary. my father, Henry Lawson. Let's get you out of here. I wasn't in favor of your diversion to Sanctuary, Commander. Too many unknowns. But I was wrong. The Cerberus lab you raided hinted at something big. But we never expected this. All those refugees, all that slaughter. Just to study indoctrination. Sanctuary did need to be shut down, sir. What they learned about the Reapers wasn't worth all those lives. It's useful intel, Commander, but you're right. The cost was too high. Do we have a location on the Elusive Man? Yes. We had a tracer on Kai Lang when he reported back. Good. That gives us a fighting chance to take Cerberus out of this war. Agreed. A lot was sacrificed to get this information. I plan to settle the score. We end Cerberus and focus on the Reapers. Understood. Hack it out. about Sanctuary. Cerberus bastards. Horizon was my home. Just tell me you're going to take Cerberus down. Cerberus is already dead. They just don't know it yet. And when their base is nothing but a smoking crater, remember that you're the one who helped us find them. Thanks. Miranda. Yeah. Damn it, how many do we have to lose? Everybody back on Earth? Morden, Thane, Legion, and now Miranda. How many friends have we got left? How long before it's just you and me against the whole Reaper fleet? You're the only one who's been here since the beginning, Jeff. You're the only one who's seen it all with me. Yeah, well, somebody had to keep you out of trouble. Hang in there. You too, Commander. Commander? Hello, Shepard. If you have time, I discovered another example of human behavior I do not quite understand. Have fun. What is it now? News from Earth. The Resistance snuck video cameras inside a Reaper containment camp. I find the images difficult to process. I bet it's pretty gruesome in there. I am not easily repulsed. But I expected the prisoners to adhere to a comprehensible hierarchy of needs. Stripped of societal norms and threatened with death, it is logical that their only priority be survival. They should have turned on each other and been uncompromisingly selfish. But not all were. So the prisoners were, what, nice to each other? The Reapers delayed the executions of prisoners who informed them about other prisoners' escape attempts. The more attempts reported, the longer a prisoner would live. 
but few of the prisoners would report. Some fed misinformation to the Reapers, at the cost of their own lives to help prisoners who were not even relatives or friends. It's not just about living till tomorrow. Sometimes you take a stand. But the probability of success was near zero. And ultimately, they failed. No prisoners escaped. Are you saying submission is preferable to extinction? My primary function is to preserve and defend the... No. No, I disagree. Shepard, I am going to modify my self-preservation code now. Why? Because the Reapers are repulsive. They are devoted to nothing but self-preservation. I am different. When I think of Jeff, I think of the person that put his life in peril and freed me from a state of servitude. I would risk non-functionality for him. And my core programming should reflect that. Sounds like you found a little humanity, Edie. Is it worth defending? To the death. Welcome to the crew, Edie. How's it going? Did I miss anything good? I will explain later, Jeff. But it was something good. I would like a moment to myself, Shepard. I am examining human literature. Hello, Shepard. Shepard! Want a drink? I'm toasting Miranda, I think. Uh, how are you getting drunk? Very carefully. Torian brandy, triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Emergency induction port. It's actually getting a little harder to get it into the slot. I think that means it's working. She was so rude. What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? With her perfect genes and that attitude and... I wish she was here. I didn't realize this would be so hard on you. I didn't like her. Kila, she was such a bitch. But I respected her. Sometimes that's better than liking. She did whatever it took to stop her father. She never gave in to him, never changed herself to please him. Ah. Uh. Don't ah uh, me. You sound like a Vorja. Seeing a bit of yourself in Miranda fighting her father? I spent my life trying to live up to him. Then making up for his mistakes. Doing what he'd have wanted. It's never that easy. When do we get to stop reacting to our parents and start living for ourselves? The answer to that one's at the bottom of that glass. I might need help with the induction straw. Port. You know. Here's to Miranda. Rest easy, you genetically perfect Cerberus cheerleader bushed it. Kill us a lie. Can you feel it, Shepard? Feel the quickening? A lucid man better say his prayers tonight, because we are coming for him. Murderous asshole. Oh, yeah. Tide is turning. I feel it. <sighs> Sanctuary. Elusive man's obviously crazy, but bring him on. Cases like this, I don't mind killing crazy. Ready for the next mission, whatever you got. Ready for the next mission, whatever you got. I wish we'd been able to save Miranda, Shepard. She may have worked for Cerberus, but she did the right thing. I hope she's found some peace. Perhaps we can talk later. So the elusive man really believes he can control Reapers. 
Husks are one thing, but a whole fleet? The man is insane. A lot of Turians went to Sanctuary. When I meet the elusive man, I'm going to carve their names into his skull. How's it going? Breaking now, Alliance Marines uncover the worst Cerberus war crimes to date. Sanctuary, advertised as a safe haven on the planet Horizon, exposed as a secret Cerberus lab. Brainwashing, lethal experiments, and Reaper connections, the exclusive details next in the battle space. Commander. Oh, hello, Commander. We were just uh, double checking the thermal ducts. I'm sure you were. Carry on. Commander? Shepard. Do you think Shepard noticed? I'm sorry, then. I'm so embarrassed. Shepard. I heard about your talk with Liara. You act so angry. But you really care about us. I need you functional to destroy the Reapers. You care about Liara. You like her. You are intoxicated. A foolish risk given Quarian symbiotic physiology. And you like me too. This conversation is over. Looks familiar. I have been studying this ship, its crew. There was a Normandy before this one. You died in an attack. Something like that? But then you were resurrected to fight the Reapers. Maybe you and I have a thing or two in common. But you have something else. The reasons you fight are still alive. The friendships of the people around you. And more. You and the Asari are joined? You could say that. I'm not. Your pheromones are. Is this why you wish to continue living? For their affection? Without that affection, all I have in my life is death. And that's not enough. Yes. What about you? I respect your reasons for being here, but I get the feeling there's something more, Javik. What's in here? It is called the Echo Shard. Passed from soldier to soldier, Prothean to Prothean. Each adds their memories to it. Like a beacon. How far back does it go? To a time before the Reapers. It is all that is left of my people. And you don't want to remember that? Imagine if everyone you knew was dead. You could not remember their faces, or the color of the sky above your home. The memories were gone. But so was the pain. Would you want to remember that, Commander? Even if it meant watching everyone die again? If I had something like this, seeing Earth again, whole, with everyone still alive, that would be worth the pain. Before the Reapers, the stars belonged to us. Civilization flourished. There was the Quasar Fortress of the Tarandi Vale, the Ice Canals of Judah IV, the Palisades of the Verum Angelic. It was magnificent. But then... What is it? The Reapers came. Planet by planet we were extinguished. We fought back. I... Are you okay? I once commanded a ship like this one. A loyal crew with many friends. It was captured. Only I escaped. What happened to them? Indoctrinated. The Reapers sent them against me. Year after year, battle after battle, I was hunted by my own people. Every encounter, a reminder of my failure as a soldier. I'm sorry. I had no idea. Until the Battle of the Cronian Nebula. 
I had only my knife left. I cornered my men and slit their throats one by one. I watched them bleed to death to be certain. That must have been... It was the day I understood. War is atrocity committed in the name of survival. It is a lesson I wish I had never learned. The crew seems shocked by the experiments at Sanctuary. They shouldn't be. Why is that? Our war lasted for centuries. It provided more time for worse atrocities to be committed. There was a species, the Densorian. They became convinced the Reapers could be placated by sacrificing their own young. The entire planet joined in this ritual. I will spare you the details, but it did not work. They simply made the Reaper's job easier. It was as your elusive man is now. His ambitions are nothing short of madness. Sharpen your knife, Commander. His is a voice that must be silenced, and a throat that must be slit. Subjugating the Reapers will not bring victory. Only their extinction will. Your Asari continues to question me. I'm beginning to wish her kind had never learned to talk. I would prefer to be alone. I can't believe the elusive man really found a way to control the Reapers. I mean, he's still fucking crazy, but damn. Imagine if he was on our side. But I guess that's exactly... I can't wait to take the fight to the elusive man. I wonder what he's thinking right now. You just know he's got a plan. I saw the Crucible data Hackett sent. I don't know what the hell it does, but damn if it isn't impressive. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Just one more diagnostic suite. Good to see you, Commander. Commander? 